Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chase and today we are going to be doing my Aritzia Fall Haul. I actually shot this video two weeks ago and while I was reviewing the footage, I didn't like how it had turned out so I planned to reshoot it. But I got really caught up with work and honestly just being very like mentally tired as well as like on and off headaches because the weather is changing so it has my migraines acting up a lot so it really put off the amount of content I could shoot and put out so I'm really sorry for the delay and all the videos this video was supposed to come out at the beginning of the fall but now it's literally the day before the first day of the season and I got some items which may appear a little bit more transition-y like summer to fall rather than straight up fall but because i'm still working from home a lot of the pieces i got are more on the loungewear athleisure casual vibes which is honestly my regular um, vibe anyways which is honestly the stuff that i wear every day anyways i don't really dress up a lot so a lot of like i'd say like maybe a couple of pieces can be dressed up or are considered more dressy but I do like to style them as more casual, dressed down, more with like a baggy on baggy look especially because I'm pretty much home all the time and I don't really have anywhere to go in a pandemic. Again, I am so sorry for the delay but if you guys have any questions about styling, tips, prices, literally anything about Ritzia, you can feel free to message me on Insta and I will answer your questions. I also started recently streaming on Twitch, so if you guys are into watching gaming or just want to see more content from me, like feel free to watch my streams. First up, I'm just going to get it out of the way and all of my boyfriend's line stuff that I purchased out of the way because you guys already know I purchase one boyfriend thing probably every haul because they just keep coming out with new things that I really like. So this time I got another grey sweatpant but this is the BF Wide Leg and I think it's really cool because I've actually been looking for more of a flare sweatpant for a while now, maybe about a year. I haven't successfully found one that I really like. I think that like a lot of people are making like really slim joggers now or very like super baggy like oversized sweatpants. Even Aritzia is doing that. So to be able to find like something a little bit different than what's currently trending right now is great, especially because you don't, I don't really see a lot of flare pants. When I was searching for them, like a lot of the stuff that I had found were like tearaway pants because obviously those are flare, but that wasn't what I was looking for. I was literally looking for a flare sweatpant. And I'm really glad that I found it just in time for the fall because it is a thicker material. So it will keep me warm and I'm really excited to wear it, especially because I have a lot of gray boyfriend stuff anyway. So I know that it will go with all, everything I have so far. The next boyfriend item I got is the Boyfriend Oversize Crew sweatshirt in GD Inland Grey. I got a size 1 because a size 1 is an oversized double extra small to extra small. If you're unsure of the Aritzia oversized sizings of 1, 2, 3, I'll leave a little measurement right here. I originally got this one for my Blackpink Jenny video because I wanted it instead of the hoodie because this was a closer match in color but i realized that didn't make sense because if i was recreating the outfit then i might as well just wear a zip-up hoodie and the zip-up hoodie in this color was already sold out so i got this one and i actually love it i think the color is so unique for gray like i haven't really seen anything in this gray before like you either see like really dark heather heather dark blackish gray or you see heather athletic like salt and pepper gray so this one is very different to me like i don't really i don't really remember seeing anything like this except for when i go to aritzia and that's what i really like is that i can find colors that aren't super common all the time especially the fashion colors that they come out with so i've actually been reaching for this a lot i thought i would be wearing a lot of the other sweaters that i own way more than this one but i find myself reaching for this one way more often and I think it's because 
um, I'm slowly shifting to more colored, lighter colored outfits. Like a lot of the outfits I've been wearing now involve a little bit of pop of color. And I know this is gray, but when you wear it against really dark black, it's something. The next item I have is another boyfriend hoodie. This one is the boyfriend hoodie in lavender lilac, lilac lavender. I got a size one as well. This one is literally something you've seen in all my previous hauls. I originally wanted the dark spruce green crew neck and matching shorts because I really liked how it looked on the website. I was looking through every single corner of the store, I found this one and I just so happened to be wearing the matching pants at that time and the matching tank top. You don't really see a lot of pastel tracksuits often despite it being such a big trend right now. I haven't actually seen people wear it so I thought that would be really cool to like give a try because honest, I don't really wear light colors, especially like lavender. So I have the hoodie now so that I can wear my whole outfit, my whole monochromatic outfit together. The next item I have is the Wilfred Effortless Pant. This is a straight leg, straight wide leg dress trouser. This one is the color Elegant Charcoal, so it is more of a dark gray. Again, this is not a gray that I commonly see around, especially for trousers and dress suits. Like you mostly see like very woolen textured dress pants that are gray, or you just see straight up like dark gray or medium gray for pantsuits. So I think this one is really cool, especially because it has more tinges, uh, tinge, tinges? Has more, it has more purple in it. Like it has more of a purple undertone, which I really like. I think this would go really great with the boyfriend crew that I had just shown in the inland gray, especially for a really baggy on baggy look. I've actually been searching for more flare pants in general, not just in the sweatpant that I had messaged in earlier, but because last year I was buying a lot of more um, cuffed bottom cargo-y pants or jogger style pants that this year I'm trying to find more wide leg flare pants. In the summer I was looking for jeans, but I think every season I try to look for something different in my pants. I don't tend to buy pants often if it's kind of obvious. I tend to buy more tops. So I kind of like to build a very good set amount of pants so that I can just buy tops to really wear on them. I got a size zero in this one because Wilfred tends to fit smaller than normal, but I think because this one is just a straight leg, it's a little bit bigger than the normal Wilfred sizing. So I definitely could have went down to a double zero, but because there wasn't one available, I just stuck with the zero. So if you are interested in this, I really would just recommend your normal size. The next item is also from Wilfred. This is the Wilfred Limerick Short. It is a faux leather or vegan leather short obviously this is one of the items that i got more towards the end of the season because now it's kind of cold to wear shorts so i'm really sad that i haven't ha really had a chance to wear it but i know that i'll definitely be wanting to wear this next summer or more towards the end of the summertime i think it's really interesting how much of a trend leather pants are this season because last year it was like kind of a little bit hard to find them besides the typical like leather leggings and now they're just like everywhere this one is a little bit of a longer short and because typically i find that like when you find shorts they're more like cut off here but this one is a little bit longer so it sits just above the knee which i think is really appropriate if you wanted to try and wear it for work in the summertime i don't really know about office work attire that much so i could be wrong I think it's really easy to wear these from a day to night look, maybe wearing a crop top or an oversized sweater or shirt with it and then at night you can wear like a more fitted tube top or one shoulder and then a blazer over as well as like some kitten heels and then wear that to dinner. I think that would be really cute. This one I went a size zero, so one size up from my normal again because Wilfred, like I said, does fit smaller than usual, but because this is their leather line, I got the Molina pants in a zero just because I was more comfortable with it, but the Molina pants I feel stretch more than this one because this one is more looser, so you're not really stretching out the fabric as much. 
Um, the only thing I also don't like about it is that when you wear it, you can kind of see that it flares out. I don't know if it's just because that's how it was uh, laid flat on the table and that's kind of how it got stuck, but I can feel that it is kind of like moving to the side in order to do that when I touch it. Um, that's the, really the only complaint I have, but yeah. The next item I have is the Sunday Best Future Button Up. This one is a double extra small and it is just an oversized white button up. Personally, I actually don't own a white button up myself. A lot of the ones that I use in my videos are my sister's or my mom's or even my dad's, but I personally don't own my own so I thought it'd be a good time to get one. I originally saw this on the website and the model was wearing it like a dress and because I've been really into more baggy attire lately, I was like, I have to have it. Like, this this is it. This is my white button up. But then I tried it on and I actually don't know if I really like it. Because it's so oversized, I'm not used to wearing a white button up this oversized because typically women's buttons up have more of a princess seam so it follows the natural curves of your body but this one literally just goes like straight down so it's very menswear inspired it also has a really cute sunday vest emblem on it which i think is because they're going more for like a school university private school vibe and i think that's really cool especially because i think a lot of the outfits that come out for sunday best are a lot more junior or younger demographic than some of the other clothing lines that they have i'm not like 100 percent sold on this yet but i am interested to see in the different outfits that i can wear with it but again because i'm it's just like really oversized for me like more oversized than i would like I'm not like a hundred percent on it but it is really nice i really do wish i liked it right off the bat the next item i have is the tna tour long sleeve shirt this one has a little bit of not a little bit a lot a bit of a graphic on it it says leave the future through positive change go forward in faith and solidarity and it has the world surrounded in smiley sunflowers or smiley flowers i didn't read the graphic at first but i really liked how it looked from afar and i really like that kind of old vintage graphic look oh it also has a really big sunflower at the back somebody told me it reminds them of the one from watchmen the smiley face from watchmen and now i can't get that out of my head the material of this is a little bit lighter than i would have thought but it's honestly not that big of a deal especially on warmer days but definitely for a cooler day i probably layer like a turtleneck like a more fitted turtleneck underneath or definitely just wearing a sweater over it i've also been reaching for this one quite a bit to wear with my cargo pants especially when i'm in a rush to go out just for like errands or anything I just really think the graphic makes everything pop really well even if you wear just a black and white outfit because I normally don't really like black and white outfits just because of the really stark contrast but I think the graphic really blends it well together. I hope they come out in more colors of this or more designs of this because I probably would buy more. The last item I have is the Sunday Best Winston sweater. This one is the brown one. I had also ordered the white and black one but that one actually was sold out before they could fulfill my order so i'm really sad about it i got the smallest size which is a one because obviously this is very big i had seen it on the website and it was paired with a the freshman pants but when you went to click the link for the winston sweater it wasn't available yet so like every day i was like refreshing and like waiting for the email to tell me that it had dropped and then when it did i immediately placed my order for both of them obviously only one came but that i ready i knew i knew it was gonna sell out and i didn't want to be one of the people who didn't get it at least in one color i've also been searching for sweater vests lately especially at the thrift store but i'm obviously not a very good thrifter because i'm not finding any also because like sweater vests are a really big trend for this season i wanted to be able to hop on it and just try to see if i could wear a sweater vest i think it's really funny that i'm scrambling to get a sweater vest when literally as a as a kid watching zach and cody we literally make fun 
of Cody all the time for wearing a sweater vest and wearing these like checkered sweaters. And here I am scrambling to get a $98 sweater vest just so I can be cool. I, sh I think this is one of my favorite pieces that I had gotten so far from my fall items besides the tour t-shirt. I think with the sweater vest you're really able to try a lot of different styles with it. Like you can definitely wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with flare pants, you can wear it with skinny pants, you can wear it with leggings, you can wear it by itself, you can wear it with a t-shirt underneath, you can wear it up with a button underneath. Like there's so many options to wear with this and it's just like endless, you know? I think Cody really was onto something when he wore all those sweater vests. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm so sorry again for the delay in content, but I hope you enjoyed this mini-ish haul. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe because it also helps the algorithm apparently. So yeah, 